How can you add and subtract fractions using the butterfly method? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, this video right here is about the butterfly technique. Now, we can use it to adding and subtracting fractions, but we have other videos where we used the more traditional method and there are many other topics about fractions. So if you want to find out the mga techniques, na yon, you can go and click right here on the button if you're watching on YouTube or in the description box sababa. Okay? But before we jump into the discussion natin today, and of course, our free quick quiz sa dulo, um, just a quick little plug if you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines. One way that you can do that is through buying our merch. So go and visit shop.teamlika.com to check out the shirts, hoodies, caps, mugs, at iba pang bagay that I designed for this team. Sa mga bumili na, maraming salamat. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And again, thank you so much for helping me keep the lights on sa operation na ito so I can keep creating free content for everyone. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now, pag-uusapan natin kung paano gamitin yung butterfly method sa pag add and subtract ng fractions. Pero before we do that, let's do a quick refresher lang kung paano ba ito gawin the traditional way. Now, when it comes to adding fractions with the same denominator, madali lang lahat. Pero pag-usapan muna natin kung alin ang alin. Now, again, no, quick reminder lang kung ano yung nasa taas. We call it the numerator. Tapos, yung nasa ilalim naman, yan ang tinatawag nating denominator. Okay? So, numerator sa taas, denominator sa baba. At kapag pareho sila ng denominator, in this case, parehong 4, madali lang. Kasi all you have to do is to copy that. So, gagawin mo lang din siyang over 4. Again, no, pare-pareho sila. Wala kang gagawin, kukopyahin mo lang. Tapos yung nasa taas, yung ating numerator, gagawin mo lang yung hinihingi ng problem. So, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. The answer is 3 over 4. It gets complicated kapag magkaiba na sila ng denominator, which is the reason why, again, a lot of people find the butterfly method helpful. Kasi kapag ganito, dahil magkaiba sila ng denominator, 4 and 5, you will go through a series of steps. Step 1, you have to find the LCD. Ano ang least common denominator or ano ang least common multiple ng 4 and 5? Now, that would be 20. Kasi 5 times 2 is 10. Hindi naman pa rin siya divisible sa 4. 15, hindi pa rin. 20 ang pinakamababang uh, multiple, common multiple ng dalawa. And kung yan ang common multiple, gagawin mong over 20 yung sagot. Tapos, bago mo i-add, kailangan mo pa i-convert or i-transform yung 2 over 4 sa over 20. So, that would be 20 divided by 4, which is going to give you 5, times 2, which is going to give us 10. Tapos, idadagdag mo ngayon yung dito naman sa 1 over 5. 20 divided by 5 is going to give us 4 times 1. So, that would be 4. Tapos, ayan, pag na-transform mo na siya, pwede mo na ngayon i-add yung fractions. And sa dulo, you will be left with 14 over 20 na pwede mo pang i-simplify ano, or paliitin to its low, uh, lowest terms. So, divisible sila pareho sa 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So, the answer is 7 over 10. Now, paano ba gamitin yung butterfly method? Uh, instead of going through finding the uh, LCD, tasa transform at si add mo, you will just need to remember the steps. Ang step one this time is to draw the wings and the antenna ng butterfly. Nang, ang wings na yan, dito natin kukunin. So again, pa-cross siya, no? So yung numerator na ito at yung denominator na ito, bibilugan natin. Sa kabila, ganun din. Tapos maglalagay tayo ng antenna. The antenna will help us later kasi kailangan natin hanapin kung saan natin ilalagay yung mga information. Step 2 natin kasi is to multiply the contents of each wing. Now again, kinolor code ko siya para hindi kayo maguluhan. We have 2 and 5 here. 2 
times 5 is 10. At dahil nandito yung antena niya, yun ang nakakabit sa kanya, dito natin siya ilalagay. So again, 2 times 5 is 10. Tapos, dito sa right side, you have 4 times 1, that is 4. Nalagay din natin siya dito. Again, no? Multiply yan, ha? Hindi add, hindi subtract, hindi divide. So, 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 1 is 4. Now, next. Step 3 is to add the numbers on the antenna to get the numerator. Dahil addition, yung ating operation, ia-add ko ngayon ito. So, 10 plus 4 is 14. This will be the numerator. At para makuha naman yung denominator, what we're going to have to do is to multiply the numbers on the bottom. So, nasan yun? Ito yun. Gagawin natin, to curve it, or sabi nga nila, complete the butterfly, kasi di ba yung butterfly, pero naman siyang uh, body, no? Ang gagawin natin, 4 times 5, that would give us 20. So, 14 over 20. Now, as you can see, ito rin yung sagot natin kanina using the traditional method. Pero for a lot of people, this is faster for them. Again, ilo lowest terms pa rin natin. Divide natin both by 2. This will be 7 over 10. So, pareho lang yung sagot dun sa kanina. Iba lang yung process na ginawa natin. Now, paano naman if you're subtracting fractions with different denominators? Again, if you have these fractions, this time, i-subtract naman natin, hindi naman natin i-add. The process will be the same. Step 1 is to find the LCD. Okay, ang LCD nito again is 20, so over 20. Now, the next step is to transform the fractions. Kailangan maging over 20 sila pareho. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 2, which is 10. Tapos, is to subtract natin, kasi yun yung operation dito. Subtract natin doon sa, dito naman siya, natin iikot. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1, which is going to give us 4. So this time, again, pareho na sila ng denominator. This is going to be 6 over 20. At dahil pwede ko pa sila i lowest terms pareho, i-divide ko lang sa 2. Yan. This will be 3 over 10. That is what you do if you are going to use the traditional method. Now, paano naman kung butterfly method yung gagamitin natin to subtract fractions? Now, Katulad lang kanina, step 1 is to draw the wings and the antenna. Step 2 is to multiply the contents of each wing. So you have 5 times 2, which is going to give us 10. And 4 times 1, which is going to give us 4. Ang pinagkaiba yun sa step 3, kasi this time we're going to subtract the numbers on the antenna to get the numerator. Subtract kasi, again, yung operation natin is subtraction. So ang gagawin natin... 10 minus 4, which is going to give us 6, over yung ating magiging denominator, which is yung product nung nasa ilalim. Okay, again, bridging the gap. So, you have 4 times 5. Mumultiply mo lang siya. You have 20. Okay? Now, again, the lowest terms ko pa siya. 6 divided by 2, pwede. Divided by 2, pwede rin. So, this will give us 3 over 10. Again, you get the correct answer naman din. Okay? So, nasa sa inyo na yan, if you're going to use the butterfly method or the old method, kung saan kayo mas mabilis. If you're taking a test, mas maganda kung saan kayo masanay para mas makasave kayo ng time. Pero if you are answering your modules, itong pinapagawa ng teacher, again, it pays to follow then kung ano yung sinasabi doon gamiting method. Okay? Now, it's time for your quick quiz. This time, we're going to use the butterfly method to add and subtract yung mga fractions na ibibigay ko sa inyo. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Isa-isahin lang natin, no? Ito, we have 3 over 4 minus 3 over 7. First step is to draw. Tapos ang next step natin is to solve or to multiply yung laman ng bawat wing. 7 times 3, that would give us 21. 4 times 3, 
is going to give us 12. Tapos, dahil ito ay subtraction, ima-minus natin yan. 21 minus 12 is 9. Tapos, over yung kanilang product nung nasa ilalim, 4 times 7, 7, 14, 21, 28. So, that would be the denominator. Now, ang 9 at 28 ay wala na namang common factor na yan. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung ating final answer. The final answer is 9 over 28. Next is this. You have 3 over 5 plus 8 over 9. Again, draw yung parts ng butterfly. Tapos, multiply lang natin. 9 times 3 is 27. Tapos, 5 times 8 is 40. Tapos, i-add na natin sila ngayon. Again, no, addition kasi addition yung ating operation. So, 27 plus 40 is 67. Over yung product nung nasa ilalim para sa ating denominator, 5 times 9 is going to give us 45. So, ang answer natin, 67 over 45, dahil ito ay uh, improper fraction, kailangan pa natin siyang gawing mixed number. That would be 1 Kasi may isang 45 na kasha sa 67. Tapos, i-subtract natin siya. 67 minus 45. That is 22 over 45. Okay? Na kung naguluhan kayo kung paano nangyari ito, I have a video on transforming fractions. Part din siya ng fractions playlist natin that you can find sa description box ng video na ito. You can click right here sa i button if you're watching on YouTube. Okay? Ito yung ating sagot. Now, let's move on to number 3. You have 5 over 8 minus 5 over 12. Again, magkaiba sila ng denominator. Let's draw the butterfly. 12 times 5 is 60. At kung nagtataka kayo kung bakit ang bilis natin makuha yung times 5, I also have a video on multiplying numbers by 5. Liling ko na lang din dito para makuha niyo yung shortcut. 8 times 5 is 40. At it, dahil ito ay subtraction, no? Ibig sabihin, ima-minus natin ito. 60 minus 40 is 20. All over yung product ng nasa ilalim. 8 times 12 is going to give us 80 plus 16. That is 96. Kung naguluhan din kayo dun sa uh, ginawa ko kanina, it's basically 8 times 10, which is 80, plus 8, 8 times 2, which is 16. Inad ko lang sila para makuha yung times 12. Okay? Now, sagot natin is 20 over 96. Now, again, pwede ko pa i-lowest terms ito. Pareho naman silang divisible sa 2. Kasi pareho silang even number. You have 10 over 48. Pwede uli sa 2. Okay. So, divide ko uli sa 2 sa taas. Divide uli sa 2 sa baba. This will give us 5 over 24. Uh, ito, wala na tayong pwede gawin dyan. So, 5 over 24 ang sagot. Na kung naguhan kayo dito, again, simplifying lang ito ng fractions. Kung na-figure out nyo na agad na pareho silang divisible sa 4, you could have done that, 20 divided by 4, 4 96 divided by 4. Makakarating kayo dito agad. Sa akin lang, lalo na pagdating sa mga exams, okay na yung paisa-isa or maliliit muna na factors. Kasi uh, mas madali siya yung mental math. Lalo na kapag uh, nagkulang tayo sa oras or gahol tayo sa oras pagdating sa multiple choice questions. Alright? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Daika Maravilla on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions that we post natin sa aking uh, Instagram stories. And if you want the throwback quick quiz questions naman, you can follow at Team Laika on Instagram. Doon naman natin pinapost sa stories doon. Again, um, those two accounts are where we announce the more important events. And if you want... To follow me on TikTok, you can go and check out at Team Laika for the educational content. Then yung mga math, English, logic questions natin, new quick quizzes, then explainer shortcuts at iba pa. And at Laika Maravilla naman on TikTok for the more personal content, motivational videos, tips, advice, mga opinions on things, and other vlogs and stuff. All right? See you online. All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like. Kung may request kayo topic, comment na din sa baba. Ipipila natin yan. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. Yan muna for now. As we always see sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And...
Bye for now.